What about you? Welcome to Springs Lawn Care Tips. In this video, I'm going to show you step by step everything I do to get my lawn ready for spring. Let's go. As we come out of winter and into spring, most lawns look yellow. My first tip, I'm going to show you a product that I think is great value and I use it to green up my lawn every spring. So the product I'm going to tell you about, folks, we've used it before in the channel. I used it this time last year. It's actually called lawn sand. It's a mix between sulphate of iron and sulphate of ammonia and it's going to give a really nice green up. If there's any moss in the lawn, it's going to help tackle that. Lawn sand is a fine powder. It sticks to broadleaf weeds and it covers the moss, but it doesn't stick to grass. The main active ingredient is ferrous sulphate, which kills the moss as well as burning the broadleaf weeds. Ammonia sulphate is a nitrogen based fertilizer that grass requires to grow and will kick start your lawn. The sand has no effect on the grass and is merely a carrier to deliver the other two ingredients. I typically use lawn sand in the spring and the autumn. I will leave an affiliated link in the video description for the lawn sand. There is no extra cost for using the link and it helps make videos like this possible and supports my channel. A lot of people might be asking, Robbie, why are you putting on iron before you scarify? You always tell us that you should put on the iron afterwards. We're doing it because the sulfate of ammonia that is in that product it's going to make the grass recover really quickly because it's just nitrogen. So it's going to give it a blast of nitrogen. In a couple of weeks time, we're going to come and scarf it. I'm going to show you step by step how to scarf your lawn. But we'll put the lawn sand on now. It's really cheap. It's easy to apply. It's hard to get wrong. One of the most important things is you blow it off any hard surfaces because it's going to stain. So if you have any concrete or paving around your lawn, after you've put on the lawn sand, always give it a blow, give it a brush, get rid of it. Welcome back. The lawn sand has been down for around 7 to 10 days and the lawn has now greened up. As you come into spring, there will always be areas that have not fared so well over winter. Places that usually suffer the most are shaded areas or high traffic areas such as where you walk on and off the lawn. Shortly, I'm going to show you how I repair these areas coming into the spring. If you're finding this video with yourself, folks, please smash the like button. Now, Let's get on with it and we'll get the grass cut. Now we have the lawn cut, I'm going to show you the, the next thing. Taking a normal garden fork, I'm just going to aerate the localised bare spots that I have on my lawn. This is going to help get the air down into the soil and it's going to aid recovery. Lightly rake the worst areas. This is going to help remove any dead grass and help air get down into the soil. The next step is to seed the areas that we raked off. The best way to grow grass from seed is to mix it with a soil or compost. Generally, a shop-bought compost or soil will fare better than normal garden soil. I will be using Westland topsoil, as this is what I used when I sowed the lawn. Seeding in March. There's a risk that if you sow seed in March, there's a chance that it won't grow as it is too cold. This is a chance that I'm prepared to take. To get the highest chance of germination and to get the seed to grow, I'm going to mix the seed and the soil together. This is a tried and tested method. It's important to mix the soil and the seed together. You want the seed and the soil to look like this. Spread your seed and soil mixture lightly over the areas that you have raked off. Be careful not to use too much, otherwise you risk smothering the grass. If you look closely, you'll see that the seed 
makes its way down into the lines created from the rake. The light dusting of compost over the top helps protect it from birds and the elements and is going to really help it grow. Small areas can be levelled with your foot. Here is a selection of tools that I would use to level my lawn after doing something like this. First up we have a rake and then we have a lawn leveller and lastly we have a brush. Any normal soft brush can be used to brush the dressing into your lawn. However, this method isn't great as it doesn't level your lawn. Next up, we have a landscaping rig. These are better than a brush and will help you with leveling. The best tool for this job, hands down, is to use a lawn loot or a lawn level. These are fantastic for doing this type of work. A lawn leveller will help work the seed and soil into the lawn and it will also level out any bumps on the lawn at the same time. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to find out how to scarify your lawn, make sure to watch this video now.